Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news that US Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke has been speaking to Congress overnight and everyone's been looking for hints that he's about to pull the trigger on a third round of quantitative easing. Instead, he was quite vague. He said that it was going to take a long time for America to reduce its unemployment rate. He said the recovery was frustratingly so slow. However, he was, quote, ready to act, but he didn't come out with anything specific. He talked about the tools the US Federal Reserve might use to stimulate the economy, including asset purchases. That's code for talking about buying bonds, including mortgage bonds. He also talked about changing the communication strategy for the US Federal Reserve, perhaps indicating to investors that interest rates may stay an awful lot lower for an awful lot longer. However, there was no clear easing bias or a sign that, a, that he was about to pull the trigger on a third round. And we saw the Dow fall initially. When people looked at the details, they decided, yes, we probably were going to get an easing, and the Dow closed up 0.6%. That meant the New Zealand dollar up at 79.8 US cents this morning. Also, HSBC, the global bank, was criticised quite heavily by the US Senate overnight over charges that it helped money launderers, and a key executive in charge of compliance resigned. Fonterra's auction was held for milk powder overnight. It's fortnightly auction. Prices fell 0.9%. That's on top of the 5.9% fall in the last auction. Bit of a surprise because other soft commodities, corn, wheat, have been rising strongly in America because of the big drought there. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 seconds at 9 o'clock from interest.co.nz.